Moving on to the next example for the change of variable strategy for solving limits. We got the limit as x approaches 64 for the sixth root of x minus 2 all over x minus 64. Now, I'm going to solve this limit by going over these four steps that we went over in the overview video. If you haven't watched the overview video for the change of variable uh, strategy for solving limits, make sure you do so because I go over these steps in a lot more detail. So I'd highly recommend you watch that before getting into this example. So with this particular limit, first thing we check with limits, can we make a direct substitution? Well, notice if we sub in 64 for x, we would have a denominator value of 0. 64 minus 64 is 0. So we're going to have to take a different strategy. And the particular strategy we're going to have to take is dictated by this expression here, the sixth root of x. That would tell you, when you get an ugly radical like that, that we're dealing with the change of variable strategy. So the first step in the change of variable strategy, we have to transform all the radicals in the limit into a rational exponent. So we take this sixth root of x and change it to x to the power of 1 over 6. And there's no other radicals in the limit to change, so everything else stays the same. This x here is like to the power of 1. The next step is we introduce a new variable u and we let u equal to x to the power of the lowest exponent in the limit. Well, if you notice, the two exponents we're working with is 1 over 6 and 1, and the lowest of those is the 1 over 6. So we let u equal to x to the power of 1 over 6. And then moving on to the third step, we have to change all the old variables x in the limit into the new variable u. Well, so far, we have an expression for x to the power of 1 over 6, which is just this u here that we introduce. So now, let's deal with this x to the power of 1. How can we create an expression for that? Well, let's take this expression that we originally introduced, so u equals x to the power of 1 over 6. How can we change this x to the power of 1 over 6 to equal x to the power of 1? Well, we can take it to the power of 6. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we take the left side to the power of 6 as well. So we would have u to the power of 6 equals 1 over 6 times 6 is just 6 over 6, which is 1. So this ends up being, the right side ends up being x to the power of 1. So now we have an expression for that x to the power of 1. And what's remaining is to get an expression for this here as x approaches 64. So as x approaches 64, we have to get an equivalent expression as u approaches a certain value. And to get that value, we can use this expression here. So u equals x to the power of 1 over 6. So if x is equal to 64, then u is just going to be 64 to the power of 1 over 6. And the sixth root of 64, 64 to the power of 1 over 6 is just 2. So as x approaches 64, that's equivalent to u approaching 2. And now notice with that how we have an expression for all the x variables in the original limit in terms of u. This expression as x goes to 64 is equivalent to u approaching 2 x to the power of 1 is equivalent to u to the power of 6, and then x to the power of 1 over 6 is equivalent to u. So the new limit we get is the limit as u approaches 2 of u minus 2 all over u to the power of 6 minus 64. And notice how we have a new limit here, all in terms of the new variable u. We change the variable from x to u. And this limit is a lot nicer to work with than this one. We have no more rational exponents left. So then solving this new limit, let's try to make a direct substitution. Well, if we sub in 2 for u, notice how we'll get a denominator of 0. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 64 minus 64 is 0. So we can't do that. But notice how we're probably going to be able to do some kind of factoring. But it's going to be a little unique because we got this u to the power of 6 minus 64. So in this particular question, the toughest part is actually step 
for. It's not the actual change of variable. The change of variable is very similar to the examples we've been doing previously. It's actually solving this new limit that we got here. So how do we factor this u to the power of 6 minus 64? Now there are multiple ways to factor that denominator. You can use factor theorem. That's going to take you pretty long though. You can recognize initially though that it's a difference of squares. So we can use this formula here, a squared minus b squared equals a minus b, a plus b. So the square root of u to the power of 6 is u to the power of 3, because if you take u to the power of 6, let's actually write this down. So if you take u to the power of 6 and take the square root of it, or to the power of a half, you would get u to the power of 3. So that represents your a value here, u to the power of 3, and then the square root of 64 is 8. So this difference of squares, this u to the power of 6 minus 64 equals u to the power of 3 minus 8 times u to the power of 3 plus 8. So now we got two brackets to work with in the denominator. And notice if we try to make a direct substitution for u, in the second bracket we would get a value of 16 but in this first bracket here, we would get a value of zero. So we wanna to try to do something with this first bracket. This second bracket, we don't have to worry about because that would give us a number other than zero when we make a direct substitution. We wanna to try to factor this first bracket here and notice how this first bracket, u to the power of three minus eight, is a difference of cubes. So then that u to the power of three minus eight, we can factor into u minus two times u squared plus two u plus four. So these two new brackets in the denominator represent this u to the power of three minus eight when we factored it, and then u to the power of three plus eight, that stays the same. And notice now how the u minus twos cancel out and we're just left with the limit as u goes to 2 of 1 over u squared plus 2u plus 4 times u to the power of 3 plus 8. And now we can make a direct substitution for the variable u as a value of 2 because we won't be left with a 0 in the denominator anymore. So then doing that, subbing in 2 for u, that first bracket is going to be 12. Second bracket is going to be 16. 12 times 16 gives us 192. So our final answer is 1 over 192 for this original limit that we got. So as I mentioned, steps one to three, pretty smooth, very similar to the previous examples that we've been doing. The toughest part in this particular question was solving that new limit that we got because we had to do two types of factoring. First, we did a difference of squares on this u to the power of six minus 64. So when we do a difference of squares on that, it's u to the power of 3 minus 8 times u to the power of 3 plus 8. And then we did a difference of cubes on this u to the power of 3 minus 8. And then the u minus 2s cancel out, and we were able to directly substitute 2 for u. So very possible that you may get a question like this where you have to do two types of factoring in that fourth step. So the toughest part is just recognizing that you could change this into a difference of squares, and then that is a difference of cubes. Now, this u to the power of 3 plus 8, we could have also factored that as a sum of cubes. However, as I mentioned, it's unnecessary because when we sub in that 2 for u, that bracket is not going to be 0. So we can just leave the bracket as it is. We don't have to factor it. What we always have to factor is any sort of brackets that give us a value of 0. So u to the power of 3 minus 8, if we sub in 2 for u, that would give us 0, hence why we had to do that difference of cubes to cancel out that u minus 2. So hopefully you got all that. If you didn't, maybe rewatch it and look for questions where you have to do factoring twice to solve a limit. It can come up on your test. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.